Christianity and Liberalism by J. Gresham Mackin is a seminal work that delves into the fundamental differences between Orthodox Christianity and the theological liberalism that emerged in the early 20th century. Mackin, a prominent theologian and professor, presents a compelling argument about the incompatible nature of these two belief systems. At the core of Mackin's thesis lies the assertion that Christianity and liberalism are not merely different interpretations of the same faith, but rather distinct entities with irreconcilable doctrinal disparities. He argues that liberalism, characterized by its emphasis on modernity, rationalism, and a reinterpretation of traditional Christian teachings, fundamentally undermines the essence of historic Christian faith. For Mackin, liberalism's attempt to adapt Christianity to fit contemporary intellectual trends results in a diluted, hollow version of the gospel. One of Mackin's key arguments revolves around the understanding of the Bible. He contrasts the liberal view, which tends to view the Bible as a human document subject to criticism and reinterpretation in light of modern knowledge, with the Orthodox Christian perspective that reveres the Bible as the authoritative, inspired Word of God. Mackin contends that the liberal approach undermines the foundational truths and divine authority of Scripture, ultimately eroding the basis of Christian faith. Moreover, Mackin highlights the divergent theological implications of liberalism and Christianity, particularly concerning the nature of Jesus Christ. He emphasizes the Orthodox belief in the deity of Christ and his atoning sacrifice, contrasting it with the liberal tendency to reduce Jesus to a moral teacher or an exemplary figure rather than the divine Savior. This fundamental difference in understanding Christ's nature and work profoundly shapes the essence of Christian belief and salvation. Throughout the book, Mackin confronts the liberal notion of a social gospel that prioritizes societal reform over doctrinal purity in personal salvation. He argues that while social concerns are important, they should not supersede or dilute the core tenets of the Christian faith. Mackin asserts that the focus on social activism, divorced from a robust theological foundation, leads to a distorted gospel message and compromises the essence of Christianity. Additionally, Mackin addresses the implications of these theological differences on the Church itself. He contends that the liberal theological drift within mainstream Protestant denominations poses a grave threat to the integrity and vitality of the Church. Mackin warns against the dangers of compromising essential Christian doctrines in the pursuit of cultural relevance, as it ultimately undermines the Church's ability to effectively proclaim the authentic Christian message. In conclusion, Christianity and Liberalism presents a thought-provoking analysis of the profound doctrinal disparities between historic Christianity and the liberal theological movement. Mackin's impassioned argumentation underscores the significance of maintaining fidelity to the foundational truths of the Christian faith in the face of cultural shifts and intellectual trends. The book remains a pertinent and influential work, challenging readers to critically examine the essence of Christian belief and the implications of theological liberalism.